I'm with AAC Distributing and I am here with Evan from Varmint Guard today and we're going to be walking through this house uh, taking a look at some common areas where wildlife can get in and kind of talking about the products that we would use to take care of that for you. Absolutely. Let's get started. All right, Susan, we did find this on the home. Um, it's nothing against the house. It's nothing that was done improper. Um, it is just an entry point that wildlife and rodents can exploit. So down here where they run this vinyl siding all the way up to home, there's no subsiding, there's no blockage here. Like when I come over here, I can't gain access. Here, what we can do is we can actually run up that entire subsiding corner all the way up into the soffit area. Um, so definitely something we'll wanna seal. Uh, and how would you seal that for, for this particular kind of corner post? Something like this that's a little larger than our standard vinyl siding. Um, we would custom break metal and attach it up underneath there um, and either tap con it directly into the foundation or use a, a tur polymer sealant to hold it in place. Okay, uh, but we have smaller ones like this, right? Like this. We do, yeah, and this is actually the, the one that we see more often. Um, this one we can actually use um, a pre-manufactured exclusion device called a critter cap. We can put that in there. It's a, it's a pre-molded device. It does have um, fiberglass inside it, so it does prevent chewing, and it completely alleviates that entire access point. 